Hello Stampers! It's Celine Kempton here and I'm here with my second video. Um, today I wanted to show you some cool stuff about the shimmer paint. I don't know if you can see the shimmer on there. Whoa! It's awfully pretty. Oh, there it goes. There's the glare. So, um, it's very easy to make this cute and quick wow card. And I'm going to start with a piece of very vanilla cardstock that I already cut out. Here it is on my clear block, and I'm just going to um, take my ink pad and gently start to ink and check and make sure that my ink's nice and even. And I'm going to stamp. I don't know, when I turn my paper crooked, it makes me straighter. Who would have thunk it? So that's the first step. Next, I'm going to take the Stampin' Up! Champagne colored shimmer paint and give it a shake and now I'm gonna put the cover down on the table and just put my sponge dauber right inside the cover to pick up the paint and I'm gonna cover the back of my stamp with the sponge here we go and then you stamp right on top Just try and get it close. It doesn't have to be perfect because it's just a elegant shimmer on top. Isn't that pretty? I've got some sponging and some shimmer paint going all the way around the edges. So I'm going to bring in a piece of cardstock that's already embossed. And I know you probably can't see the image too good, but we'll make it pop out with the with the sponging. And I'm just going to make it nice and dark. If it's not getting dark enough for you, you can put it down and sponge it and just go in circles and that makes it real dark. Look at how pretty that is. And then I don't want this particular card to be lonely, so I'm going to add a little bit more shimmer paint. Here we go. Shake, 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 Sidora. And add a little shimmer paint here. And I'm just painting it on. It's nice because when it dries, you won't see any streaks from your, your painting motion, but um, it'll make a nice even coverage. And I'm going to do the same thing with, the, with this piece. Um, now, on the Silent Night piece, I found the first card I made was a little too dark, so I'm going to go lightly when I sponge on the outside so that it doesn't get too dark. I want to look I want it to look like there's light behind my tree. So I'm going to sponge around it but leave the inside layer kind of light going around. Um, so that's the that's the steps. I'm going to going to put a little glitter on the outside of this one too. Um, I made 30 of these and by the time I was done, you know, stamping all of my images, this was easy. I didn't even need to go back into my paint very often because it's just a subtle effect. I hope you enjoyed my video today. Have a good day.